Joe from NYC Fragrances back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you're a regular subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. The more subscribers, the better. You guys will get the content as it comes out and you won't miss a thing. Today, I'm going to speak to you about the House of Dunhill. The House of Dunhill, for me, is a very heritage, strong brand from England. For me, originally, it was something that I related to cigars. I smoked Dunhill cigars, a very elegant brand of cigars, very distinct. If you were to say a niche brand, the Dunhill cigar would be considered that kind of a quality in the cigar world. Fragrances, though, on, under the in the fragrance community, Dunhill's kind of considered designer rather than niche. So, the first entry that I want to talk about is this fragrance called Dunhill Custom. Now, Dunhill Custom is a very entry level cheapy. We'll call it the tier one, my cheapy fragrance as far as Dunhill is concerned. It has apple, it has incense, it has cedar. It's a very nice fragrance, something you can wear regularly, every day, for work. Probably need to reapply it. Carry a decant with you if you need if you need to reapply. It's probably the best way. Or if you have the small 50 ml, it's not a big bottle to carry. Keep in your briefcase or your backpack or however you travel throughout the day. So that's one way to go about it. Again, I mean, for the price, it's a very nice fragrance to have in your stash. It's a compliment getter too. It's Dunhill Custom. Now, if we look at the second tier of Dunhill, we'd probably be talking about my favorite line at the moment, which is the Dunhill Icon line. So we have the original Dunhill Icon. It comes in this bottle that looks like a, a pipe or some kind of thing that you could knock somebody out with. This thing has got some weight to it. The design is very, very cool. It's intricate. The smell. It's just awesome. I, I love I love the I love the smell of this. This this is compared to Terre de Hermes Ultra Fresh, which I can see the similarity because I did have a sample of that and it is very close. Although for me, this one here changes a lot through the wearing, which makes it very interesting. And for the price point, this is tier two as far as I'm concerned, and my price point, see so a designer tier. It's running about $40 for this 100 ml. And this is the original. They've made now three flankers based on this. And my favorite flanker we have right here. And that is Dunhill Icon Elite. It comes in the black bottle, as you see. This one has a suede accord, which makes it more upscale than the original, as far as I'm concerned, but still a same Pretty much at the same price point there is not much in the way of price difference as far as most of the icons go the only icon that seems to be fetching more money is the icon racing which is the green bottle and for some reason i don't know if it's because the limited availability it has become more available it was talked about by jeremy fragrance on his channel he discovered it in a duty free on, during his travels and to me icon racing it is a nice fragrance don't get me wrong I think it's more youthful. I don't think it represents that gentlemanly vibe that I associate with the name Dunhill. For me, Dunhill is a sophisticated English gentleman. It is not that youthful kid, like, you know, something you would get with the Versace Eros or Versace Dylan Blue or a Dior Sauvage type feel. To me, Dunhill, to me, speaks of that guy in the suit the James Bond guy, the, the tuxedo, the real proper Englishman, right? So, tier one, tier two. Now, really, as far as Dunhill goes, there's not the expensive one, but at the moment, we'll say this one that I'm going to talk about is the most expensive one because it is new. Uh, and because of Mr. Smelly, if you're not familiar with his channel, definitely check him out. Mr. Smelly has... The recommendations that he's given lately are in line with everything that I like. He seems to 
always have this vibe of liking fougere, very sophisticated, gentlemanly fragrances, which I really gravitate to. So I blind bought this one just based on his recommendation. So if I hated it, I'd be cursing him out right now. But you know what, Mr. Smelly? I got to give it to you. You were spot on. And I am loving this fragrance from the first sniff when I opened the box, blind buy or not. At the price point, I paid $60. It is a little higher than the other Dunhills are running currently. But you know what? Even at that price, it's well worth it. The fragrance I'm talking about here is Dunhill Sentry. Now this nice bottle that comes in, I like the design of it. It's very intricate. And the cap itself is sort of magnetic, but then it has to twist off and it twists back down. So you almost have to twist and lift it to open it. It's very cool. I actually really love it. Now this has some similarities to the way Dunhill Icon smells, but this is a lot more neroli forward. It also has the cypriol oil, so that gives it a different vibe, a little more sweeter floral type thing going on than the than the way Icon is more of a vetiver leaning fragrance. But this is really really good. I mean, if you're looking for something different, you could definitely make this a signature scent. This could definitely be a great office fragrance. I I, I can't wear to wear this on a regular basis because, you know, for me, again, as, a, as an enthusiast and a collector, I have a lot in my stash and a lot of samples and a lot of things that I try to review and talk about, especially if you guys follow my Instagram page, which is where I have most of my following. Uh, I'm posting anywhere from three to six times a day and in order to keep that page going and adding content there's a lot of testing I do and there's a lot of fragrances I go through so I don't get to really dive into my collection as much as I might like to but these are definitely wares and I could see me reaching for them a lot and I'm gonna link them below so this way you can all go check them out if you're interested in any of them you can follow through and make that purchase and trust me any of these as a blind buy are not a risk they're running anywhere from $60 all the way down to $30 you really can't go wrong so please like comment and subscribe tell your friends about my videos spread the word love to love to hear from you below I love interacting with my subscribers and anyone in the community with any ideas or any any thoughts you might have about the channel anything you'd like to see me do or anything you'd like to see me change or what you'd like me to talk about you want me to do a Q&A you know there's I'm open to pretty much anything I'm trying to build a channel slowly I'm learning as I go along it is a new channel so it is what it is so remember if you smell good you feel good have a nice day.